welcome welcome back to soto creation where we make your imagination a reality i am so excited to bring to you this artificial spider fern panel backdrop i've been waiting to open this box and create some designs for you and i'm so excited today is finally the day to do this now i'll have this backdrop linked in the description box below you can get it from home depot each panel is a 20 by 20 inches and there are 12 of them in the box right now I'm pull, i pulled everything out and it comes with these zip ties the zip ties for me were handy to use to attach this to the holes or to my crossbar I didn't use it to attach each panel together now you see the knob on on there two of the four sides have this knob and the other two sides are going to have the holes so the knob would fit right into the holes they're a little hard to push in but once you get a hang of it, then they just fit right. They don't come out unless you really tug on them. That's why I didn't have to use the zip ties. So they're beautiful backdrop, very dense, and they look absolutely wonderful. I sat down, thought about how I wanted it to look, and I decided to put three across that is horizontal and four vertical because I would rather have a taller backdrop for people who are slightly taller so the backdrop looks great in pictures rather than it look like they are covering the backdrop so my backdrop ends up being a five foot wide and a 6.7 foot tall backdrop if you do the math I'm assembling each piece like I explained, just making sure that the knobs are all in place. But also I'm looking at the pattern of each panel and making sure that the parts that you see that are white, kind of a light green white color, and the ones that are brown are not in the same spot so I'm turning the panels and you can see they're kind of spaced out here I am using my crossbar and I fold it over I'm going to use the zip ties to attach the back the backdrop to the crossbar I use about five of them and it's easier this way because then at the end I can just lift up the crossbar and put it up without me struggling to hold the whole panel up or getting help so there you go I'm attaching some 260s because I decided to use some balloons on this backdrop to create my very first design so Oliver is here to play with me and he just loves balloons he thinks the balloons are fun to just punch and tap and play with so we are assembling our balloon garland and I decided to go with these lighter tones, nothing too bright, just to create more emphasis on the backdrop. Now he's trying to convince me to use this pink and he's not very happy when I tell him that's not what I'm going for. So he's not happy about that so Olivia comes to see what I'm doing to her brother and to figure out why he's not happy because there he is again trying to convince me and I'm saying no that's not what I'm going for and she's like what is happening so I ask her nicely if she can please help me get her brother up and there she goes to give him a hand and we're all happy again talking about something else and I decide to go back to my balloons and they're going to go get a snack. So here we are back to the balloons and happy again. And I'm going to attach this to the backdrop. When I look at 
the backdrop if if i knew how it was going to look then i would have moved it further to the right so that part of it would cover that silver upright pole that you see there because i wasn't very happy with the pole showing because if i had it further to the right then i would be able to move my balloons in and i would still have that covered but again we put things together and we learn as we go so here i am completing the base just to give it a full look and i decide to start adding my five inch balloons to give it more of an organic feel and just elevate the balloon garland and i decide to alternate the color so i'm not putting the same color five inches because i want to tie in that yellowish color with the rest because i didn't have as much of the yellow so olivia is back trying to convince me like her brother they have the same taste i guess well here we are still working on the five inch balloons and it's going great so i just love this backdrop you can use it for any occasion birthday um, you can use it for a wedding a bridal shower as well as i said before i wasn't happy with that upright pole showing so i decided to cover it up with this white drape so just to give it this look there you go i am loving what it looks like and it just looks great i have these valence hangers that i'm going to use to attach a second crossbar to create a different design with some drapes so i have these four-way stretch spandex drapes in white and i'm going to use four of the panels that i made so attaching four in my mind i feel like the white just gives it an even ni a nicer look so first design is going to be fairly simple i'm raising it up so that the green backdrop the greenery in the back does not drape and you have that space where it just touches the floor but still looks good in the pictures i had to lower it to put the drapes which is perfect for this backdrop and forgive me that the backdrop looks wonky it's when i was editing that i realized it was sideways but funny enough the pictures look straight so i do not know exactly what happened here my first design is just simple um this is about it just two just tied on two ends and i enhanced it with some silver rhinestone drape ties just to give it a more elegant look and there you go beautiful backdrop simple yet elegant third look is going to be with the same drapes i have four panels here and i just decided to change the look a little bit give it somewhat more of an elegant look still have the rhinestone ties and there you go i really appreciate you guys watching um, i hope you would subscribe like share last look with balloons thanks again for watching have a great day